As corporate director of communications, I get involved in a lot of different things. One of the things that uh, is real key in my role is getting our cultural message out, not only to our employees, but uh, to all of our customers on a global spectrum. And it's very important for us. Uh, as we look at our culture, we've all agreed that our culture has become our business. And in all honesty, it's not truly about the sale, it's truly about building the relationship and, and basically being able to convey your message and your corporate message. And here, uh, we have a card that I'll show you here, very small card, very powerful. Uh, this is something that David Armstrong developed, and I worked with David on for several years, actually, this was in development. Uh, do unto others as you'd have them do unto you, our company motto. Uh, we were not afraid to step out with that and make that statement. God first, family second, your job last, in that order. It gets no better than that. In the workplace, we strive on this actually. It's God, family, and then work, and we in that order too, and we really preach that and we, we live by that. It just makes you feel like you really are blessed to work for a company that stands behind the cultures that you yourself believe in the core values of putting God first and family and then your job. Uh, yeah, we put faith in God, family, and then company. We have a lot of customers that come in and uh, I usually will talk to them about our culture uh, and I've given actually a lot of different talks to various uh, customers that have come in. Uh, they look at me at times like, this can't be real. This, is, th this doesn't truly happen in a corporation because we don't see it where we are. And typically, the greatest compliment we can get from that person is after they've been here for, say, a day or two days, to have them come up to you and say, you know what, it's even better than you described, and where do I apply for a job? Because I'd love to come to work here, because this is a great place filled with great people. We've had, actually, um, for some of our uh, other sites globally, cultural training. Uh, it's that important to us. Uh, we had uh, an entire group uh, in India uh, of 100 employees when we first opened up a uh, facility there. They were all trained uh, for several hours uh, in the course of a day on basically the expectations that we have as a company and what we stand for as an organization through our culture. We have to get through to everybody that, that we work with in our organization around the globe exactly what it is we stand for culturally. And then we want to be consistent. We want to send that consistent message across the board. And that's very important to us. One of the first things we do with a new employee when they come in, they're indoctrinated and dipped in the culture, as we say here. We want people to experience what we stand for, why we do this, and, and what it's all about. And, and you know, it's interesting because if you just simply do the right thing, things will take care of themselves. But how often do we pick up a newspaper? How often do we turn on our television and we read about the other things that are going on out there? And unfortunately, there's so much of it going on that we like to think of ourselves as a differentiator. We have differentiated ourselves from many of the other companies out there because we've treated people in the same manner in which we wish to be treated. And when you send that message globally, it, it, it has a global reach within all of our organizations, China, Japan, Korea, India, everybody's on board with it. They all, by the way, carry this culture card that I talked about earlier. In fact, uh, one of the things that David Armstrong set forth uh, before he, he passed on, he said, I want everybody to have two of those cards in their pockets. David would even come back to Three Rivers from our corporate offices in Stewart, Florida. And he'd go around and he'd spend a lot of time meeting the people and talking to the people. And one of the things David loved to do is he liked to approach people. And it didn't matter if it was in India or China or here, actually. Okay, you got your culture card? Have you got the culture card on you? Because it, it's something that was really important to David and, and very important to all of us to carry that legacy on because, as I said before, the culture has become our business. As far as what we do as an organization, uh, the, you know, I'll, I'll, go back to, uh, I'll go back to a decision that was made by David Armstrong back in 2004 uh, as far as our faith in the workplace go. 
And it's, it's very interesting because for a long time, we had a gentleman who was involved in, in the CAD area named Dan Lane. Uh, he became our corporate chaplain. And essentially, David made a decision back in 2004, which I told David, I said, this will be the most important decision you will ever make as a president in this organization. David came out directly with what we stood for as a company since 1900. But he basically made that step in faith and was willing to put it in all of our materials and, and to promote it and to say, this is who we are. This is what we stand for. And it's all about the passion. And if you're passionate about what you're doing and you're sincere about what you're doing, everybody comes on board with that. And everybody just runs with it. And it becomes part of the organization because why? People believe in the leaders and the leaders are basically showing that through their examples and it's not just about the talk it's about the walk through the years we've been through some very difficult economic times uh, and and you know it's easy for companies at that point in time to say let's get rid of some people well, let's just get rid of some people that'll, that'll be easy for us we don't do that here in three rivers since our inception in 1900 we have never had a layoff we're very proud of that. So you may ask, why? What, what do you do? How, do you? how do you make that happen? We send people into the community. We've, we've uh, taken people. They've gone into uh, the, the local schools. Uh, we've, we've helped uh, design uh, football fields. We put, you know, we've helped build football fields, uh, press boxes, uh, grandstands. Uh, let's put a softball field in for the local high school. Sure, let's help out with the Little League. Let's put a couple parks together downtown. Let's do that while we're at it. And, you know, let's go to the local park and let's also help refurbish it, clean it up, upgrade it. These are the type of things that we take pride in. Again, that's giving back to the community. That's to say it's, it's a privilege to do business here. People come here and they stay here. People know us very well in the community. We have an excellent reputation. And it's not at all uncommon for somebody to walk into a store with an Armstrong shirt on and they'll say, you work at Armstrong International. Wow, I've heard that's a great company. And, and our people take special pride in that because in the community in Three Rivers, we really are highly regarded because people look at us, they look up to us. And that's, that's just such a pride thing for all of our people, me included. When somebody will walk up to you and say, you work at Armstrong International, and we heard you did this for the local school. We heard you did this downtown to help you know, with, with a downtown renovation or something. And we've always been there, and we've always taken pride in that. So yes, it would be easy to lay people off and say, we're very sorry, but we don't have work for you. But no, we don't do that. We're going to put them into the community. We're going to do special projects. We're going to help in and around the area because that's our way of giving back to the community. And just recently, uh, the local uh, cemetery here in town, they, they have just uh, named an Armstrong Founders Memorial. And they came to me and they said, we want to establish an Armstrong Founders Memorial because you are the company that has been here through thick and thin, never left, employed person over person through the years, generation after generation, and you're here to stay. And we appreciate that. And, and with that, we're establishing the Armstrong Founders Memorial because that's our way, the city of Three Rivers, of giving back to you and to say thank you for all that your people have done and what your company has meant to this community. And it is so important to be involved in the community. It's not just a place to do business. It's, it's a place to help others. It's an opportunity. It's a mission field from that aspect, that you're able to help others within the community and, and to think nothing of it when you do it and not to expect anything in return for it. You're doing it from the heart. You're doing it from the heart, and that's what counts.